today we are going to look at 10, 10 key tips for question 11 of TOEIC speaking. This is where you give an opinion. Now recently I've gotten some great feedback where many of the people watching my videos have increased their score and they're getting 850, 900, 950. So thank you for giving me the great news. It's all your work, but I'm glad my channel could help. All right, let's get into question 11 of TOEIC speaking and some tips. First, let's go over some details. On question 11, you have 45 seconds to prepare and one minute to talk. Good news is you can now take notes. This started about three years ago, so in TOEIC speaking, you can now take notes. The questions are all opinion based. However, you can separate question 11 into four different categories agree or disagree. Here's an example. Do you agree with the following statement? The best way to learn something new is by reading about it. So that is agree or disagree. The second category is if you. Here's an example. If you were offered employment in the following locations, which one would you choose? So once again, this is a hypothetical situation. It's a conditional, but they are giving you an imaginary situation. Number three, preference. So which one do you prefer? Which one do you like? Here's an example. What characteristic would you like most in a manager? So they give you options. Which one do you prefer? And four, just what's your opinion? Here's an example. What are the advantages of having your own company instead of working for someone else? So you're just giving an opinion for all of these. Now, to get a good score, to get a high score, your response needs to be related to the topic, has a clear opinion, clear reasons, and if possible, details and examples. Number two, it is not just about correct grammar, but they are looking for complex grammar to get a high score. So you can have perfect grammar, but if it is very simple, your score will not be that high in the grammar section. They're also looking for clear and detailed vocabulary. And finally, that your reading, or sorry, that your speaking has good flow and is easy to understand. Okay, so let's get into the tips. Tip one, pick your opinion quickly. There is no right or wrong answer. If you know you can talk about one option more, pick that, but choose it quickly. Here's a mistake. So we have the question up here and the student says, when they're taking notes says, hmm, do I agree with this? Well, maybe I do, maybe I don't. No, pick something more quickly. Right away, just decide, okay, I don't agree with this. Now you can get into your reasons and examples much more quickly. So get your decision made quickly. Tip two, when you answer, do not read the entire question back especially if it is long. You only have one minute. You will not improve your score by reading the question back. For example, if you have this question, your answer should not start like this. Out of being encouraging, having a lot of experience, and giving many instructions, the characteristic I would like most in a manager is being encouraging. No, you don't need to say all of that. Instead, this is better. I think for me, the number one characteristic for a manager is being encouraging. So you do not need to read the whole question back. Use that time for other things. Tip three, develop the ability to answer why. Develop the ability to give reasons. You need to support your opinions in this section. You need to have reasons. 
Many students think that because or due to is the most important factor, but what comes after it? You have to have clear reasons. Let's look at an example. If you were offered employment in the following locations, which one would you choose? So weak answer. If I am offered employment in a large city, small city, or small town, I choose small town because it is nice. Also, it is not expensive. Why is this bad? Well, you don't need to repeat the whole question. There are grammar issues and the reasons are unclear. There's not any detail. You need to build on those reasons. Here's a better answer. If I could choose where to work, I would select a small town. Firstly, smaller communities are generally safer than major cities. For example, in the countryside, there's often less crime. This is because most people know each other, blah, blah, blah. But now this is giving more information, more detail. You are giving clear reasons. How do you practice this? Start asking yourself the question why about many things. For example, why do people stop talking when they get on an elevator? Or why do tourists visit your city? But start practicing asking why. Tip four, speak for as long as possible. You have one minute to speak. You want to talk as much as possible so you can show your English ability. If you are done in 20 seconds, that is not a good thing. So try to give more details, tell personal examples. Tip five, use topic specific vocabulary. What this means is be clearer, be more detailed. Let's look at an example. The weaker example to this question is, from my perspective, reading is not a good way to learn something. First, you often can't see stuff in a book. This is vague. This is not clear. We want to give better words than good or bad or things. Let's look at an example. First, a book often does not have clear pictures or visuals that show you exactly how to do something. But if you watch a video, you can clearly see all right, so we can see this is more detailed. The vocab is more topic specific. Let's look at one more example. This is a weak answer. For me, I would prefer a manager who gives many instructions because this will make me feel good. People feel bad when they don't get instructions. What does good mean? What does bad mean? It's a very unclear, vague statement. Better. For me, a manager who provides a great deal of instruction and advice is preferable because it gives me confidence that I am not making mistakes. So instead of saying makes me feel good, clearer gives me confidence that I am not making mistakes. That is clear. Okay, tip six. After your reasons, give examples. They can be personal or they could be about your country or your friend or the world, but give examples and extra details. If you can't think of any, lie, make them up. Here's an example of a clear answer. If I could choose where to work, I would select a small town. Firstly, smaller communities are generally safer than major cities. To clarify, there is usually less crime in towns than major cities. For example, I grew up in a big city and I would often hear about robberies and even murders on a daily basis. However, when I got older, my family moved to the countryside and the only crimes we ever heard about were someone breaking into a car. So now you're giving details. Now, you can make this up, but you are showing your English range. Tip seven, 
Do not try to write out your whole answer in your notes. You don't have time and when you read them, you're going to sound like a robot. You want to give some key notes. Here's an example. You can see I have safer, less crime. I have less expensive. I have nature, less pollution. And my note to myself is give details, clarify. Tip eight, very easy tip. Practice speaking in real life. You can't just study vocabulary and start speaking on the test. You need to practice regularly. So try to find a partner, record yourself, whatever you need to do. Tip nine, in the day or even hours before the test, speak in English as much as possible. It is like warming up before a sporting event. If you don't speak English for seven days and then go to take the test, you will not be ready. You will not be warm. And tip 10, as I already said, record yourself and find out your challenges. Then you become your own teacher. So as you can see, we looked at 10 tips for TOEIC speaking question 11, the opinion question. Please like, subscribe, share, hit that bell. And once again, thank you for all your support. Have a great day.